Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. Hopefully, everybody's doing well. We're playing a game that I guess is best to say is sort of similar to, from my understanding, Castlevania 3, where we're potentially having a party of multiple characters exploring a sort of gothic esque setting in a fortress and or castle. But more in a sense that it'll be playing like a Metroidvania than specifically Castlevania 3. I think more the gameplay might be more Castlevania 3-esque. But we'll see. I happen to hear of this game and decided to pick it up. I'm not sure entirely what to expect. So far the soundtrack is nice. Let's go ahead and pause the soundtrack and I guess jump into the game. I did test a little tiny bit of it, but I have no idea what to expect outside of the first like minute or so. Give it a second to boot up here. What a sensitivity warning. Viewer discretion advised. Option to reduce flash and turn off. Oh, please. Oh, man. We are turning off screen shakes immediately. Listen, chat. <laughs> a Troid Mania in a castle. Some sort of Castlevania, if you will. Kind of. I mean, older classic Mania doesn't have a lot of that. Year 21XX. A terrible disaster has befallen the planet. Because of the first thirst for power, the world's kingdoms fought until nothing was left but dust. Oh, Blue Dawn is questioning existence. Very few survived the catastrophe, now living in a radioactive deserts and eating scraps to survive. The planet was dead. Chat, you already killed the planet. What are you, what are you doing, chat? Welcome, Imperimeter. However, decades later, the ruins of the old world started to reappear. Like serpents, these ruins slithered out through the Earth's surface once again. Wow, that text is really fast. Now three explorers investigate the cause of tainted water in hopes to save the people of their village. Search leads them to a dark tower upstream that seems to be seeping poison into the water. This is their story. Man, that is, like, actually fast. I mean, fortunately, we have Suikinid experience. That's on episode 2, Tears of the Earth. So we're used to dialogue going potentially fast. Dr. Wiley and the Robot Masters 1. Yeah, it's so true. So we'll let the intro play a little bit, because I did see some random dialogue while testing. But welcome to Asalon, Tears of the Earth. So we have kind of like, presumably a warrior, a whip user, and a mage. <laughs> if we're going off the Castlevania tropes, that is exactly who they should be. This is their story, it is very fast, oh no. When he said this is their story, I had like Final Fantasy X flashbacks, chat. This is my story! <laughs> oh, Titus, never change. Maybe we'll see Titus in uh, April Fools in the future. I don't know if I want to commit to an entire playthrough of Final Fantasy X. That game is a little long. But we'll give it a few minutes to see if anything happens. But Dankin Entertainment chat, we have definitely played games from them before. In fact, let me do a very quick look up live on stream. I am pretty sure we have literally played a card game from them, and I just need to confirm what games they do. They might have done the, uh... Hopping around card game, but I'm trying to get a list of their games. One day Google will benefit me, so it doesn't seem like anything's happening yet. We'll give it another minute or so, and we'll move on from the title screen. Dungeon Drafters. I was trying to remember the name. It is the same people that did Dungeon Drafters. So we'll see how they go, I guess, from card game to platformer slash collectathon. But anyway, let's go ahead and hit a button. It does not appear like there's another intro. Look at all these secrets we don't have. Okay, accessibility. Oh, screen flashes. Moderate. Oh, no, 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 no. Screen shake moderate. No, 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 no. Where's screen shake off? I don't like screen shake. I don't know how I feel about these other options. We'll leave them as is. Okay. We have a power, options, attack. I'll leave it as is for now. I always prefer music slightly louder than sound effects. Platform of Collectathon, you're speaking my language now, exactly. I think we viewed basically everything. I can make it arcadey. Oh, ew, no. 
No? Okay, I'm leaving it on... I'm leaving it on soft AA for presumably anti-alias or whatever. Ah, uh, so different language selects. Well, we were playing around with the intro enough. Let's go ahead and hit play. Like the little soldier running from the monster in the bottom right. Thinking about it. We traveled through hell to get here, but we finally made it. This cold tower. It feels evil energy in my soul, stabbing like shards of glass. I'm not sure which character is talking, so it's hard to give a voice to them yet. I'll leave it <laughs> neutral for now. We're tired, injured, and hungry, but we must continue forward. The lives of the people back home depend on us. But I have no one. Just a promise to a dead man and the ultimate debt. Exactly. We're gonna listen. We're gonna climb the tower. We're gonna destroy Yggdrasil. At last, we made it. Just one small thing to do first. Hey, Algus. What do you see in there? Nothing. Don't come in yet. It's full of bugs and stuff. There we go. Interesting. The I am not sure how that happened. How did the dialogue box end up part of the way through chat? Honestly, it looks very interesting when I look at it. <laughs> Got distracted there. I'm s I have no one except there are two other people I'm walking with, pretty much. They can't know yet. It's too soon. Here we go. This room will have to do. Thank you, Calvisha. Hopefully you're doing well, Calvisha. I'm all by myself, and I just have two idiots following me. Ugh! Maybe were the white hair characters the protag speaking in the narrator voice? Algus, are you okay? I'm fine. Just need to push forward. Epimetheus, remember our pact. We have Arius. This tower! You've only been here for mere seconds, but I already feel uneasy. I feel it too. It looks like the poison is coming from here. If we can stop it, we can prevent the people in our village from getting sick. I want that too, of course. This tower seems different than the other ruins. I can't put my finger on it, but it almost emanates strong evil energy. I am not worth, Kuli. My father was the famous cr crystal swordsman, remember? And as his only son, I can use this opportunity to become the hero that I was meant to be. Dot, 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 chat. Dot, dot, dot. Also, Algus is with Dad's assistant, right, Al? Assistant? You're kidding me. <clears throat> Enough. Let's look forward for... Oh, let's look for some light. We likely won't get far blundering through this darkness. <laughs> She's like a giant head with arms and legs. Where is her torso? Wherever you want it to be. Don't fall too behind, Arius. He treats me like a kid. But he's not my father. What was that? N nothing. Coming. Oh, look at that auto attack. Alright, so if we attack, we can attack and move. But we can attack and jump. Okay. Look at us go. Look at that rapid slash. We have a key door. Two keys required. Let's inspect. Press A to jump. But if you press and hold A, you'll jump even higher. Thank you, tutorial. I know fall damage. Read this before we go to the campfire. These blue veins look like they would resist projectiles. A slashing weapon might cut a way through them. Okay. Presumably that was a chest, because it just exploded, and we're collecting some currency. Lower health total. Okay. I have hit the button. His eye is lit up in the background. Okay. Okay. 
flashy slashy indeed. Uh, so I could switch characters here. Let's say for now. Statistics. Look at various statistics for your playtime and SLM. Say to open. Then it gets mad at me. Use from the main menu! Thank you. I can switch characters. So we got Pew Pew McZappy. Oh, she doesn't have a whip, she has a bow. Oh, okay. So she's actually the long range projectile character versus the mage. But right now, I don't have the ability to switch the mid abilities. Or mid combat, I mean. But I'm sure we'll unlock the means at some point. Jump looks quite high. A lighter person might be able to reach. I might be able to jump off the wall to reach greater heights. Oh. Thou must switch now to experience the rest of the game. There's like a little wall kick thing going on. The arrows don't pierce. So he's got three eyes. We have three characters. How convenient. So it, it auto-releases in the air over time. I'm not letting go early, just to chat as it were. Try to articulate what's happening. I presume I need Mr. Pew Pew. Ooh. What? Is he auto-run? What? What caused that? What was that? I'm so confused. How did that happen? So, like, if I do this, like, I have control over the character, but I did not have control over the character, briefly. So I can attack and move, which is different than the other characters, so I can do kind of retreating shots. I'm not sure how I ended up in that glide animation. You saw that, right, Chad? Like, I was just kind of like, wee! Like, I wasn't pressing anything on the D-pad when that happened. Can I accomplish something? Always turn to your friends for help. Oh, is this an actual old game or retro remake? Newer game. Frick, it's actually by the people that did uh, Dungeon Drafters. Each person has varying traits and skills. Anything is possible with teamwork. I'm not sure how I caused the drift to happen. Because he was definitely gliding. Like, he was stuck in the, like, the jump animation. I don't know if that was an intended ability that I haven't learned about yet. Also, I saved while jumping, which is interesting. How did I do that? I just want to experiment with some movements. Like, I think it was just jumping, right? Because I had it in, like, auto jump speed, which was actually good. Oh, well, we'll figure it out later. There's something strange about those black orbs. Maybe they could be struck through the wall with magic? Okay. Pew, 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 pew. Let's see if it lowers a ladder to the, our right so we can progress with the story. There, oh, excuse me, the block has appeared. We'll stick his pew pew for now. And as always, we never take ladders, we jump ladders. Like, listen, we, we, could, we could do this animation, or I could just do this. <laughs> Classic. So presumably Pew Pew Laser does less damage than Sword, and then Bow does the least damage. We don't have like a lot of good things to test it on this early. Okay. Like this... And a pee people, sort of? Age unlocked. I'm assuming this is our elevator. This will probably act as our waypoint at some point. I see in the upper right we have a red key, blue key, and silver key count. We know there's a blue door here. So... Mm, okay, so we have a map system. But it's not telling us that I needed a key to go through a door. So this might be a little brutal on breaks because we're not going to play this back to back to back. So, remembering that that door above the red room needs a blue key is definitely going to be more annoying than it should be. Um, anything else we should know about? I have a standard menu, so presumably the sword and shield are my strength and defense, respectively. 
We have game timer, which is whatever. We're going to enjoy the game for what it is. Exit menu, and you can even see a little mini map of the game. I like how disgusted we look at our own profile image. You can see a silver keys up there, as well as a switch up there. Looks like a kind of timing puzzle there, which we could deal with with a silver key. Conveniently over here. It looks like we'll have the ability to activate some blocks later to hit that switch. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> right, chat? Listen, pew, pew cannot be denied. Hmm. So we have kind of like a lantern, or not lantern, we have like a candelabra with a candle and also a crystal casing in the bottom right. I wonder if that acts as a checkpoint. Something similar in games like, oh, we can't shoot while on the ladder. Hmm. Good to know. Ooh, we were like one shot shy of killing. just heals me or maybe it could still act as a checkpoint I don't know yeah it didn't seem to restore itself over time how did they get here little cheaters right chat little cheaters oh got something is that a secret I was just kind of jumping randomly Speaking of which, got wrecked. Focus, are you all right? Hey, what's your problem? This is no place for mortals. What is your business here? Last. Uh, last. The culmination of my efforts is at hand. What is he talking about? Listen. We're only here to save our village. We don't want any trouble. The water is poisoned. People are getting very sick. Can you help us? You. And your people. You deserve this fate. Do you see, my lords? They've sent champions. <laughs> our people are dying. What is so damn funny about that? The Echo responds to the call. You're all scum. Who are you? No matter. This will be over soon. It was time for me to take control. How dare you call me mortal? Does that thing look mortal? Yeah. And rid this planet from the scourge of mankind. So it was you? You did this to the water? To the people of our village? Yes. It was I. Ha 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 ha. How? How could you? Even children were poisoned. Oh, he's just straight levitating into the air, chat. We are outclassed at the moment, for sure. Small price to restore purity. To restore balance. He's gone mad. Mad? No. My mind is clear. Stay back. Oh, that was a quick cutscene. This man lives in the tower with the Gorgons. He's dangerous. My lords, do you hear? Take the souls of these fools as tribute. All right, you're our target now. We'll stop you at any cost. My controller's vibrating rapidly, by the way, chat. You cannot change the course of destiny. Accept your fate. You, accept yours. <laughs> Actually deleted. Arius, no! Such courage. Tribute, you steal men's souls. Exactly, Calvisham. And yet, so weak. Let her go. Spell denied. Damn, she got it bailed. She's going to the continue screen.
No. They were children. W what have I done? I can't tell what our age is to say if that makes sense for us or not. We have white hair, but we look like we're like 15. Epimeth or Epimethus. What of our pact? Well, GG. Good game. Let's uh, go to the review. Is this what it feels like to die? Technically ancient in anime years. I was going to say three more years and uh, they're already done. <laughs> One foot in the grave at 18. There we go. I like our skull shaping into the bubble. Epimetheus, have I died? Indeed, you and your comrades have perished in the Tower of Serpents. No, I failed. Get up. I shall send you back. Or have you forgotten our pact? Hmm. I think our protagonist has made some very questionable decisions, chat, before the start of this game. Dot dot dot. Protagonist has no defense. I help you fulfill a promise, and you bestow upon me your soul. Yeah, that's about where I thought it was going. A foolish barter, I must say. Ha ha ha! But my power is not yours to exploit. I grow ever impatient with you, Algus. Once you and your friends succeed in the Tower of Serpents, I will collect your soul. I don't care about my fate. Take me back. Very well. Is there anything else? Oh, is he going to serve as an upgrade shop or something? He is. Oh, we can't ask him what these do. Hmm. We have Death Orb, Mercy, Candlelight, Death Wish, Inner Fire, Gift, which costs 666, cute. Cartographer, which I probably want at some point. Orb Seeker might be important. We have Knowledge. We have these other characters. Where I could directly go into their stats. You see, Arius has three defense compared to one of the mages. Raise this character's speed, learn the weak points of the Gorgons, 10% damage versus bosses. This becomes a master using a shield, 50% defense when less than 50% health. Lionheart Arius will survive a killing blow, but only once. So she gains strength up. So she actually has 3 damage, which is much higher than I thought for a projectile, which is kind of interesting. But I guess because she can't rapid fire it, it kind of makes sense. Shoot at monster's weak points, 5% crit chance. Bullseye, chain hits to create a damage boost combo. Shoot an arrow imbued with power. Press B to use, costs 500, 500 orbs per use. Uh, we are not at the point in the game where we could just throw that away around. Meteor Rain, some of the power of the cosmos. Press B to use, costs 10 HP per use. Chalk Field, a successful hit, leaves a small field damaging enemies for a short time. Arcanist, game magic expertise, 30% missile size increase. I would be more inclined to do this if we were going to play him, just so we can hit potentially aerial units or enemies low to the ground a bit easier. I don't think I want any of these yet, because I don't know what they do. I'm just going to pull a Tella, damn. At last, we made it? Hmm. I'm back. Alive? Wait! Where are they? Hey, Algus, what do you see in there? Yuli, I'm so happy to hear your voice. Is Arius with you? What? Of course I'm here. Saw me two seconds ago. <laughs> yes, you're right. What's going on? Nothing. I'm here. It's safe. Wait. I feel strange. Have we been here before? Dot dot dot. There's no need to burden them with my past. I'm living on borrowed time after all. Hey, Algus. Is something wrong? You're acting weird. N no, it it's nothing. You should hurry forward. The sooner we finish here, the sooner we could go home. Yeah, 
Okay. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> right, Chad? Pew, pew, chat. Anything with that block seems kind of suspicious up in the air. I wonder if it'll move at some point. Should probably check for Castlevania style secrets, like hidden walls and stuff. That almost got me. I meant to jump there, I didn't mean to attack. That was player error. See the candles still pop from earlier. I can rest at the campfire if I take damage. Something strange has been happening. What do you mean? I've had dreadful visions of that man in the black armor. Wait, so have I. Thought it was just my mind playing tricks. The visions seem so real. I feel the danger. Could it be? Could they be seeing a past rewritten by Epimetheus? No, that's doubtful. What do you mean, no, that's doubtful? <laughs> What do you mean? How many people in Black Arbor are there in this universe to confuse this? More like faded memories than a vision. And the worst thing, felt like I died. Double exclamation mark. Yeah, I would dot 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 that too, chat. This tower is terrible. There's trickery at play without a doubt. Don't worry, Cooley. You're still very much alive. Here's a little something. What is that? I'm glad you asked. It's a pill steak. Hmm. No thanks. Slay more monsters and maybe I'll have better things to work with. Heal 10 health. Oh, so we don't full restore at a rest? Ooh. That's interesting. Can you imagine if he disappeared again? But he don't got to slay something I think you could possibly remember. Yeah, I was like, can you... <laughs> Welcome, mortals! How dare you come... We just die again. <laughs> just make our god mad at us. Bonk, bonk, bonk. I mean, we didn't really resolve the issue of dealing with him. We just went back and somehow he's not there. They said they rewrote the past, but we didn't really do anything different. And in fact, we already completed the other timeline. Because I didn't have to get the keys again. Oh, look at that. Killing enemies. He puked out a blue key. Um, I guess I could go back now, so don't forget about it. Here we go, chat. This is, the, uh, this is how we're going to move for the rest of the game. How's that? Pew, pew, pew. Oh, I thought he was gonna look at me. That's because I didn't hit him. I didn't turn him around. Oh, there's a ceiling there. Oh, what? Oh, I thought I could jump higher. I got baited. Right, Chad? I got cheated on that one. The bunk was real. I'll gather these for now. I might need the coins for something. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, I don't remember that middle place. I was like, what did I just land on? Yeah, I guess there's nothing in there that I care about. I guess I could just come down the other side. I figured why well, I have a blue key and I remember this exists. creature over there. I don't know if it's an NPC or an actual monster. I'm gonna shoot at it, though. Okay. Talk. Hunter says, Greetings, hero! I'm the last remaining envoy of the Order of the Beast Hunters. A order once scoured the world for information about the monsters that roam the land. I was not expecting dialogue to take up a majority of the top of the screen. I might move the chat going forward. Or at least hide the chat temporarily. I'm gonna do something like this or something for now. 
since the war, most of them are gone now. Vanished. Dead? Probably. Some say these knights were so versed in the ways of the monsters that they became monsters themselves, roaming the darkest corners of the wo our world. They never finished the glorious work, documenting all the monsters of the realm. Do you feel brave enough to follow their path, hero? Ysiri acquired. Item get. Secret unlocked. Oh, so if I get an objective, it tells me how to get the next one. Okay, that's kind of nice. Find the music room within the tower. Reach the top tower and defeat the Black Knight. Leave the tower immediately after starting a new game. Oh, oops. I guess I could have tried doing that earlier. Free Zeke the Merchant in the main game. Oops, I didn't think about doing that. Oh, so I can't rest here. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I'll take her because she's got platforming skills. Might be useful. That could add a difficulty to it. So at least if we die, presumably we can end up back at the other place that we were just at. The, uh, campfires. Hopefully we don't have to go back literally from the beginning of the tower, because that would be kind of brutal. For now, let's proceed. There was other items up there, but I don't know if it matters right now. I'm looking at the boot icon next to our thing, so I'm assuming that just relates to our jump kick ability. Oh, there's the monster we saw before. said that the souls of the living creatures can manifest as glowing blue orbs, but they're not always possible for everyone to see. There's some kind of weird door here. Organ eye red required. Okay. Can't shoot through this, sadly. Hmm. I'm assuming we need a blue key and we could get that red shard. So this is where, like, if I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna fault the game for it, but I wish there was a way to mark this to say, like, I want to come back to it. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, there's a lot to potentially grab here. I want to see if killing them does anything to this room. Because we saw that getting a key causes something to happen. Speaking of which... Right, chat? That was about to expectations. So, if we need more support abilities, I guess I could go for them. I want to get as much damage up as possible. I don't know if I care about health at the moment. We can see some, some kind of script up there. Let's see what this does. And this is map. How many ways to mark the map are starting to be a thing on Metroidvania now is a good thing. Yeah, like, I saw them a little bit with, um, I want to say, like, Orders of Ecclesia, like, in terms of Castlevania. Like, it was pretty late in, like, the those kind of style games for it to start appearing. Uh, but Etrian, but things like Etrian Odyssey have always let us do it since, like, the DS days. So it's not, like, this is unknown for things with maps to have abilities that let you it. Also, we're apparently a 3% completion. So presumably there's good oh I didn't realize I need to be. I was not paying attention. 
We did all that for a map, which doesn't help us very much. Since I'm at a dead end anyway, I would have to go backwards. That poor beetle is ultra dead though. Yeah, I just can't quite like kick off of this platform to get more height. I could get the key to go left, which is unfortunate. I went the wrong way first. Also, those delayed shots require a little bit of uh, navigation. Hmm, that kind of blows. There, there's a lot of enemies she's very bad at dealing with here. Like, beetles are easy. The other things that take like a million hits. No. I'm not sure how to reach those with our current character, unless we could make like a super jump here. Yeah, okay. Oh, I found a key. I'm just gonna say platforming my weakness. So I. If I'm able to come from up there, so it seems like if I could get through the silver column, I could do something. But right now, I can't. Okay. On the plus side, 258 should unlock a couple of abilities. So when I die, inevitably... I don't feel like dealing with these monsters, I'm just gonna... Yeah, platform timing? No thank you. Oh. Oh, sneaky. So that, that's actually kind of mean. Can we agree, chat? Like, I'm gonna pause so you can see it a little better. I was wondering if, like, the little icon on the wall meant I could walk through it, because, you know, it's a classic Vania. But I was like, oh man, they hit it behind the health bar. Make that orbs could fall in the traps, yeah. Because I, I saw that it gives like a little bit of an indication that it's there. Like, there's like the blowing breeze here. So it's like there's a couple of visual cues. But I'm not gonna lie, them putting it where the health bar is, that's kind of rude. I'm just like, I just like to say it. If it was like here, it would have been fine. But up here, I don't know. So we got a secret, I guess. What the heck is all of this? Did that red orb do something? Oh, I forgot how delayed that was. Wait, what? She can multi shoot? Why can't she multi shoot that? Yeah, the problem is, as I said before, she's a little awkward. I'm gonna take a lot of damage getting used to her. So if she jumps on the ladder, she can multi shoot faster? Like, see that? Like, it's not just me. Like, she's just legit. Like, I'm not doing an animation, but I'm attacking. I guess it remembers I fired the bow, even though I canceled it. It's so awkward with her. There we go. Organ heart attained. So we're probably gonna die here, but at least we can open a shortcut, presumably. We know where this is. That's good. Maybe he thinks I landed after a dump, maybe. Oh, wait! Wait, that can hit- Wait, what? That hit- What, what is the hitbox? Excuse me. Ow. 
I mean, listen, chat, listen. If her hitboxes don't make sense, that's all I needed to know. Like, that should not have hit. <laughs> yeah, that is special. special. That hitbox was special. <laughs> it's like, I hit like a tile and a half further than I thought I would hit there. That was interesting. Oh, I can't go through here. That's unfortunate. Well, now if I die, we can just get some passive abilities. Doesn't really matter. So maybe she has like cancel tech with ladders. Kind of weird. The music shift though. It's just bird. I mean that. I think we can all agree that was not a fair fight. Listen, he had this giant block in front of him. I went, no, no. <laughs> right, chat? Just, what were you thinking? What a fool. I, ew. I don't know what I'm going to do against this enemy with this character. Other than just hope I outrun. The one thing that makes her a little tricky is that unlike the mage, if I commit to an attack, I can accidentally redirect, so it's a little harder to aim her fall over the mage. So overall, I'm not a big fan of her at the moment. It's not that she's bad, I just don't think she fits my playstyle. I think I like the mage more. Yeah, because she, because I, I want to do stuff like shoot while going backwards, which is exactly what the mage can do. The mage is really good at kiting. She's more full screen snipes and has big delays. I think I prefer spammy. Now we're here. That got rid of the silver column, presumably. It made a weird fidget. But maybe we just have to hit a couple more to delete it. There's so many, there's so many hidden walls. Uh, you know what, let me just get the switch out of the way before I do this again. So the face was lit up and I shot it and that caused that to happen. I could see her being fun if she had a little more power versus these enemies. Don't know what that was. A sword icon appeared, question mark. It didn't give me a tooltip to my knowledge. Or, or vision thereof. Now we unlocked a shortcut. Okay, so now if I die, it doesn't matter. I have a shortcut. What is that going on on the floor down there in the middle of the screen? Is that a fake floor? Yeah, see how there's the red glowing things? I'm not sure how to hit them with this character. fake? Or is this just a weird graphic was happening at the bottom? There's like a gray flake or something happening down there. So I think, for example, if I was the sword person... Oh, in fact. Until red eyes sink into the darkness, all evil spirits shall be banished. Alright, so like, we clearly need... Like, if she gets a double jump, I think if she got a double jump, I'd like her a lot more. So we'll, we'll, we'll come back to her at some point. Because her being able to go like, boom, and then like... Chain those, I think, are pretty good. Because she gets locked in place when she's on the ground, which is a bit awkward. But double jump is fine. I like her mobility in, like, stage traveling, but, like, here's an enemy where, I'm, like, it takes a long time to kill them. Where I don't think the Mage of the Night would have a problem with that. It's kind of ironic she has trouble killing flying enemies as a bow user. You would think she'd be like the character that gets guaranteed crits on them or something. Do you know what I mean? Hello, bird. I deleted bird. Bird no longer exists in this universe. And another hidden door. Oh my God. So many. This isn't even on the map. What is this? Oh, just oops all treasure. So at point blank, she hits all over the place. I guess that showcases how ridiculous her projectile damage is. 
Like, she shot here and hit backwards, chat. I don't have anything else to say about that. So, so far, game feels rewarding for exploring to the point that it's mandatory. <laughs> sure, well, sure, that, that definitely hit. So we should be able to unlock the passive abilities. That item went so far. Look at that, chat. It went all the way up there. Sticking to one character is going to be rough. How did they get here? Wow, still no ability to heal. I guess the gimmick is to just die a lot, but I prefer not to. Pew pew pew! Hi right, chat. We're gonna go with how about no? See, I like that he can jump cancel the uh, ladder. We were doing that earlier. But that jump is kind of awkward. Oh immediately need the knight. Cool. Okay. Back here. Something about his character sprite reminds me of the game Deadly Towers. I don't know what it is specifically. It looks like blood. Probably won't harm me, but the thickness could slow me down. Oh. Okay. All that just to go to the upper portion. I mean, good to know that the blood won't kill us, I guess. So our sword kind of hits very literally where we can see it. I still don't know what that is when we get it. Because I don't think our attack is going up according to this. Oh, there's a kill goal. I don't know what the goal does, but we achieved it. Is that a... Anything. Yeah, Rapid Slash is there is good for that enemy. So he's very good at the worm, and I think he's okay at the uh, flying enemies. Just because he could get like three or four hits in the air. So I did all this. Are you telling me the key is not immediately here? That's so sad. Like, look how fast he killed that compared to her. She's the attack bonus. Okay. There we go. Oh, come on, chat, come on. Really? Damn, that sucks. Get denied. Baited. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, because he can attack while climbing the whole time, which is kind of unfair. If I need to anti-air or something, I think he's my character. Even the rain... Most enemies just kind of die really quick to him. Feels like the best of both worlds. Page OP. <sighs> Gotta use her to see what this is. Rude. Right, chat? Actually just rude. Oh, it actually fell to the next screen. That's cool. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see what this tells us. Some switches are invisible to the naked eye. Part of the room looks suspicious. To look more closely. Watch out for traps. Oh, I'm dying in this room, chat. There is a 
There is there is a very high priority or high likely. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say likely chance I'll die to a trap for no reason. But now there's invisible, which is yeah. I like her ability to kick off of this for platforming. So I like her for general mobility, but. Jokes on you, I made you move forward just so that you wouldn't be able to hit me. Bonk. I might as well get experience while I can. Can he really not reach that? Oh. So sad. I just wanted to play the mage chat. It actually denied. I thought he could reach that. We're still getting used to the jump physics, so I don't I don't have like a good sense of how high I can jump. Other than like a little over two. So sad. There we go. Threading the needle there, chat. There we go. I don't know if it wanted me to do that, but that's what I did. Oh, I didn't realize that was a crumble block. That scared me. Rude. And now I have to switch as the other character. So rude. Yeah, that was like the edge of the thing that I landed on. Holy. There we go. Might as well add to the kill total. Bonk. So far, it's going fine. I haven't died yet. I did take some damage, though. That's mostly just due to platforming. As per usual, I expect my main nemesis to be platforming and not actual enemies or anything else. That was me trying to platform and missing some jumps. is in a really annoying position. Okay, finally, right, Chad? I can finally make some progress up here. Oh, will achieve. Which is probably what I would have the most fun playing. The mage seems fun, but I don't like the knight's W range. Yeah, knight has, like... I think the problem with Knight is that I think he probably should have started with more attack than the Mage, like two attack. The fact that he's tanky is kind of nice to make up for the fact that he's got stubby range, but like that's going to fall off pretty quickly if we play through this game. I guess this is to teach me about hidden passageways. Luki acquired. Welcome, Remote Battery. Hope you're doing well. How's the game so far? Not bad. It's kind of like a roguelike Castlevania. Like, I have to die at some point to get upgrades. I don't have a bow, or else they'd be able to hit the red thing over there, so I got punished. Unless I could switch right here. What is this? I don't know what that is visually. Thank you. 
I still feel like I have to go back for some later, and I absolutely will not remember where they are. So I'm going to apologize ahead of time, chat, because I am not sure how to mark where those red lights were that we didn't get. So hopefully it's not mandatory to beat the game for me to do those, because I definitely missed two already, because I couldn't reach them. They were like on a third pillar higher than I can jump. We're kind of up to a boss, so I might as well just play Pew Pew Miggy. It feels like I'm going to be using this to basically go to the different floors. So you can see like if we scroll up the map, we can see how it almost lines up with all the bosses. Imagine this will be our waypoint system for maybe if we do die, we go back to the beginning. Not sure. Boss time. Oh, let's switch sides. The chat is on. You. Why have you come here? My colleagues and I seek the source of the poison in the water. If you'd allow us to pass. We leave when we were finished. We don't want to fight. You sealed your fate when you entered this tower. I will feast on your entrails. I guess this can't be avoided then. Okay, slow mo four. I too puke blood in the. Oh, for you. I see his gimmick. Oh, I didn't realize that would hit me through the floor. That's unfortunate. I mean, it's not hard. I just didn't realize that would go through the block like that. Uh, is the boss coming back? Oh. Well. I mean, now I know he'll do that if I'm too close, I guess. So we're seeing a whole bunch of new attacks, which is kind of annoying. I will probably die just because I wasn't at full health starting this. Like that. Unfortunate. I think I understand what to do. It's just that he did like seven new attacks in the span of like two minutes, which is kind of annoying. You have not fulfilled your promise. I will send you back. Is there anything else? Uh, I don't really need help up. Let's get knowledge. I need to know more about this world. It is now filled with vast amounts of knowledge. Item descriptions will now be more enlightening. Okay. Orb Seeker. Orbs are now attracted to you. Epithemius. Gathering soul orbs for you is troublesome. Nonsense. Perhaps you should be less lazy. I'm not being lazy. Are you saying there's nothing that you could do? That is correct. There's nothing that I could do. What a shame. I would surely gather more orbs if I didn't have to chase them around. More orbs. Fine. Maybe there is something that I can do after all. Gee, thanks. Revenge Taro. Cartographer? Lock doors will now be written down on your map when you uncover them. Oh, okay. Hmm. I don't really want to get character upgrades yet. I think we're too early. Need more time. Um, general invincibility up might be worth it. I'll take that, actually. Invincibility duration now improved by 0.1 seconds. Sure. I don't know what inner fire is. I could buy it just to see what it is. Fire inside your soul is burning strong, yet too much of it will consume you. I feel it. it burns. I don't know what that means, but I picked it up. Question mark. Shows the location of Gorgon. Still don't know what Inner Fire does. Can I take this to go up? No, it's not letting me. That is most unfortunate. Do I really have to walk all the way back every time I die? Ooh, I did do extra damage. Oh, is that because of Inner Fire? Interesting. 
Okay, that's kind of huge for casual clear. That was a good pickup. So as long as I kill a bunch of them, I just randomly do more damage. Chat, okay. I think chat would agree. I am totally okay with that, because that is a cross-character upgrade. Bonk. So now the mage is one-shotting me. That's a nice pickup. It's not going to help on bosses. But that's fine. I still have the blue key. Okay, so there's a door I can't reach here. But at least it's being marked now that I need it. So that's fine. I was complaining about that earlier. That makes more sense. They... They left it as an upgrade. I, I can live with that. It does kind of suck that dying makes me walk through the castle again. That I will say I'm not a fan of so far. I really hope in the next boss fight we unlock a shortcut. That's all I have to say about that. Oh, I went to jump cancel and I bonked. So sad. Bonk is real. Speaking of bonks. What did they do in here? Uh, I could go over here now. Thank you, blue key indicator. I forgot this was a door I didn't open. What's in here? Oh. Corpse holds a note. Ancient black armor is said to heal itself when submerged in blood. I mean, I think Jack can agree. Kind of worth coming over here. Now if we die again, at least I could get another upgrade. That is much easier with the mage. Swords user still a little better at it than him, but I'll take it. The bird stands literally zero chance against this. key over here I didn't need. I just saved it for that room. Oh well. Man, I, I entered this room at a bad cycle. There we go. At least the top portion of this room. Oh, I swing forward. Oh. Wish there's a way to go through those blocks. I feel like maybe we'll get an ability later. See, it's like, I got injured just on my way back here. I kind of at least wish it would go back to my last campfire. Don't like that it made me go all the way back to the beginning, as I said before. Um, Probably still want to play the mage, although now I'm coming in about as injured as before, which is unfortunate. Because it feels like this is the thing that I would be able to go between places. I'm just not sure why it didn't unlock when I went past this. It very clearly looks like it's supposed to line up with different bosses. Okay. 
So we know this enemy has like a bazillion attacks and every single, every two attacks it's something new. So there's a lot of things to learn pattern wise. I don't think it's hard, there's just a lot to learn. Well that did two regardless, that's interesting. Oh, I don't even have the kill count on him and that works. Oh, I forgot to attack. just blocked off the plates I could jump to? It's rude. Huh. Okay. I, I don't know if I agree with that. I was pretty much off the platform. That was just rude. Do I have to completely leave every time? It doesn't give me a big opportunity to hit him. Kinda sucks. Oh, I'm dead because of the... I was jumping for the other thing. Man. That is a lot of annoying attacks. Let me think. Do I want to do anything else here? How many times four? Death with. I don't want to see what Death Orb is. Don't really want to get health up. I think I'm going to switch characters, maybe. But I'm kind of curious what Candlelight Times 4 does. This tower is very dark. Candle. Oh, that's all it does? It regenerates the candles? Oh. Uh, I probably would not have bought that had I realized that's what it did. That's unfortunate. Yeah, like, I don't know, like, it's, I, it has, like, a lot of attacks. It's not hard, but it's more like, every time I think it's gonna do something, it just introduces more attacks. It's like, I mean, think about it this way. Oh, it did the glitch again where I was walking around at high speed. Like, it's just kind of, there we go, I hit it that time. It's just kind of like, okay, the beginning part's not too bad, but then it's like... We're just going to now block platforms, and then also we're going to change how we're shooting the projectiles. Because we're no longer just shooting them at the same height. We're now going to make one of them arbitrarily bounce on the wall, so that's a new pattern to learn. And then while that's happening, we're going to make sure to just mix it up between going full screen and close range. It's not great, I will state. Oh, so I lost my other abilities? Oh, ew. Okay, so I think I wasted some souls. So inner fire only works once while alive? Kind of a yikes. Okay. Unfortunate, but we learned, I guess. If you notice, I'm not doing the bonus damage anymore. That's why I say that. Yeah, I thought that was a permanent increase. I will say that that is definitely something that they should make clear if it's temporary or not. I don't know if they should have put it in its own category or whatever. But yeah, that's... I would not have purchased that if I thought it was temporary. Yeah, the item descriptions do suck. And the stupid part is I got item descriptions are more useful, but that doesn't help me with the shop. Do you know what I mean? So I just wasted a whole bunch of souls on stuff that's not going to help us. That is really unfortunate. Hold one. So yeah, I would not have purchased that had I realized that. Super unfortunate. And so far the game, like, I like the general platforming so far. I think the monster designs are fine. I think there's, like, a nice mix of, like, 
intuitive learning as you go. Like, you see how the monster goes through there? To make sure that you understand that's like, that's a thing you could go through in case you missed it earlier. Yeah, that time I didn't even get injured. Um, I guess I could try the guy. Got nothing better to do. But yeah, it's just kind of like, I just don't know what they are. And it's like, I'm going to get them because I need to learn what they are. I don't know if I agree with that so far. So definitely say weak point is the upgrade system so far in the game. At last, the Gorgon shows its ugly face. Oh, you will pay for trespassing here. I'm not leaving until we find what we seek. The only thing you'll find here is your death, fool. I expected such nonsense. Let the slaying begin. So I guess I could see the other boss quotes if I come in with different characters. I guess that works. Oh, I thought he was gonna go the far side. Alright, that's much more effective. Does my invincibility power up gone as well? I'm just not sure what to think. Oh, got too close. Unfortunate. I had the right idea, just got too close. That also feels kind of unfair versus the sword user. Seriously? I think we can have a seriously moment chat right there, like really? You gotta give me an actual opportunity to hit you. Okay. damage in there. I should have the boss this time as long as I don't get bonked. I disagree. Oh no. I think I'm dead. Wait. Oh, that's what that. Okay, that was. That was unfortunate. I actually had that. I, that was just unfortunate. Yeah, I fell down the wrong way. Okay, so, invi so invincibility is permanent, but the other ones aren't. No way, inner fire is still here. Unless it charges per. I don't know. I think it was pretty close though. All it adds is plus one. That's all it adds. Oh no. Oh, I don't. A chat. I don't know about that. That's all it added. Oh, we're not getting health upgrades ever again. <laughs> like, listen, I'm taking already like eight damage. Why would I want one health? I thought it was going to add five. Big yikes on those upgrades. Big yikes, chat. Damn. So I think I have it with the swords person. It's just more like I got unlucky hitting him because I had to get close. There were two different times I took 10 damage out of my 30 total health just because I got too close while attacking. It wasn't like I failed to dodge. I just bonked him. Unfortunate. Oh, it gets more expensive when you buy the non-permanent ones. That sucks. The birds still can't even do anything against the melee guy. See, so yeah, it feels like I wasted my souls. Which... Gotta be kidding me. Platforming. So it feels like I wasted my souls, which is unfortunate. Not a great feeling. I almost had the boss, as is.
I think the problem is that I thought he was doing his other spike attack, and then I realized it was the spike attack that lingers to the floor a little too late. That's why I jumped to the left, because I just wanted to get off the platform. Now I'm just playing sloppy. Because I am annoyed. Go this way. I really, really hope they unlock a shortcut. I do not like walking back to the bosses every time. I'm not going to lie. Like, now I'm just going to kill my character because I took too much damage. This is the kind of thing I don't like in video games. I'm not going to lie. I really don't like long boss walks. It's like three or four rooms. Oh, no. Let's go back. Because I basically have to go, like, flawless, like, 30 rooms? I mean, that's a lot. Of... Or maybe not 30. Maybe it's more like 20. But it's a lot. Like, I have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then I go up. That's 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 rooms before I get to the, uh, the campfire up there. Which is a lot of rooms to go without taking damage. I will stay. I don't know. I kind of, as I said before, I feel like they should have just unlocked my ability to go up there. Then I wouldn't be annoyed. I don't care that I get to retry the boss a few times. Don't make me walk through this every time, please. <laughs> right, chat? Please don't. Like, can you imagine if there's, like, another boss and that elevator doesn't unlock if I have to go through the whole tower again? That will drive me wild, for sure. Yeah, there, there 100% has to be shortcuts, because this is insane. Damage again. Unfortunate. I could get one heal on the way there. The worst part is I don't even think attack up would help me on this character. I think I just need to not get hit by the bouncy balls. Okay, we're through. Right, that was a much better cycle this time. I mean, you can ch you can count the rooms with me, chat. It's a lot of rooms. Without error. Because whatever health I have is there. I also wouldn't be so annoyed if uh, the heal if the campfire is always healed. That I would also be fine with. Like if I got up there and it healed, or as I said before, if I died and started at the campfires, I don't think I would be annoyed at having harder bosses. You know what I mean? Like then I'm like that's fine, you know. But I don't really want to do the long walk every single boss fight. It's to the point where I'm wondering if it's faster to quit game if I die than go back and walk. Like, I'm actually already at that point if we barely started the game. I will try quitting the game next time I die to see if I start back at that campfire. True story. It's happening. <laughs> if I die again here. I will die again at some point, and we'll see what happens when that happens. Is it the worst thing that happens is I would just end up in the same room I already was. You know what I mean? So we're gonna do it when I die. too slow to get there. be a little more aggressive here but i'm just trying not to take damage at this point i'd rather just play it safe and just take zero damage 
Do you know what I mean? Like, I could squeeze in a few more hits on that form. I think he's gonna go on the right now. Oh, he didn't. Well, good thing I didn't do that. Like, listen, chat. Now I'm mad. <laughs> like, listen. Now I'm actively mad. You made me go through this boss fight again. Bad game. Focus is intense right now. Get out of here. That's just rude. The ball should not be allowed to do that, by the way, chat. I'm just gonna say it. Seriously? Seriously. Rude. Oh, I thought you were gonna put you at the other side. Almost a flawless victory. I did 50-50 on where he was going. Whatever. Jerk. Some upgrades. I might level this character as like our boss killer and then our other characters general things. Oh, I think I used the key the organ eye immediately. Oh well. Could have used it somewhere else. How has this not unlocked yet? <laughs> These characters have anything to say? They do, but I'm not going to I really want to rest. Yes. There's no doubt in my mind that we'll succeed here. We have a village full of people who are depending on us to cleanse the poison. <clears throat> <clears throat> With that kind of weight on our shoulders, we cannot fail. What do you think, Al? I know we'll succeed. My debt, my pact, it is certain. But do I need to pass my own burden on to others? No. I think we should focus on the task at hand. Oh, hey, I almost forgot found some of these things you've been collecting, Algus. Really? That's great! What are these things anyways? It's hard to explain, but the more of them I can gather, the better it is for us. In that case, it's good that I found them, right? Yes, very much so. Thanks, Kuyuli. Oh, 100 orbs received. Okay, so it's, so it's not guaranteed that I even heal. That's kind of rough. Let's try to Hit this with magic to see if anything else happens here. Because <clears throat> I'm wondering if this will activate <laughs> something in the future. It looks like we should be able to interact with it, but touching it, jumping on it, and attacking it doesn't seem to do anything for now. Okay, so we found the- f we got through the first boss once we learned his many attacks. So we, we learned the patterns of two to defeat him. Then it wasn't so bad. Wow, that took a lot of swings. Oh, it also opened that door. Hmm. Let's go downwards. That was a scary fall, chat. I, I fell like a rock to the bottom there. I was not ready for that. Bonk, bonk. Hmm. I wonder if the blue torches signify anything. I was thinking because there's a Gorgon head in this room, I should kill everything, but... Nothing happened that time. It's fine, not every room needs to have a secret. Oh. I I'm sorry, what? <laughs> 
Um, I'm assuming I can't go this way yet. So, <clears throat> I don't have anything that could hit the top enemy. I could reasonably hit the black orb. Do I really, <laughs> do I really want a platform for this? I don't know. It seems horrible though. We're already at that portion of the game, quote unquote. At least we could stand on the top of ladders. I will give them that. That was a good game design choice. Not every game lets you do what I'm doing here. Thank you for letting me stand on ladders, as I find it so annoying to not be able to attack while on ladders. Oh, that didn't activate? I thought we just had to attack it normally. Maybe only certain characters can activate it? Unfortunate. <clears throat> I felt like we interacted with that before, but I could be mistaking it with a different set of orbs. Because I think we shot it with the mage before. <clears throat> I could try the mage. I mean, what's the worst thing that happens? I die and walk all the way back here? Been there, done that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I could try going back to the elevator to see if anything happens. <clears throat> I'm really shocked that it is still not unlocked. Excuse me, chat. Alright, so next time I die, chat, I might go there. If I didn't pick anything of interest, I'm resetting the game. That is that is what it has become at this moment. It's like, what, what would happen? I come back at 21 health. <clears throat> it's really not that bad. I don't want to take the candle at all. Back up, nice. <clears throat> Excuse me, throat's a little dry. I just want to test real quick. It is kind of unfortunate I have to kind of test it by going through a long walk yet again. That's fine. Wait for this thing to jump up into attack range, or... Never mind. <clears throat> pew pew pew, chat. Give me a second as I drink something. At least I can collect them from full screen. Alright, so that is how you activate them. <clears throat> it did involve using the mage. I'm glad we went back. What did that do for us? I have no idea. I <laughs> should just... Right now, nothing. I guess if I die, I could go back to the Gorgon Eye room that was down there. I'm presuming I still have it, right? Yeah. So I have at least one other route I could take if I want to. So it's not like a key, it's not consumed on, uh, use. Like a little skeleton buddy. He's just living his best undead life, and I just murder him. No mercy, chat. How did they beat me here? They're godlike. Might as well as go towards our kill goal for a bit. I know the archer does more damage to them than normal. Oh. And jump back far enough. I like how dramatic it is, but it's like not a hard fight either. At least you showed me I could go behind these. I guess it was neat. We still have like a lot of places to go. Let me go downwards for... I was gonna say, this has become a little more complicated. Be a blue key, let's at least go towards the... Oh. But, I'm the right character. Map ends here. I guess this is Linus, the cartographer. Oh. I mean, listen, Chad. We're, we're gonna get that kill goal. I don't know what it unlocks, but we're gonna go for it. 
The game owes me some points for uh, other upgrades. Soul Collector so far seems like it was worth picking up. Cartographer was cute, I guess, because we got dialogue there. I didn't expect it to be super helpful, but I just took it anyway. Oh, did he remember where he was in the room? No, he didn't. Okay, resets. That was living on the edge. <laughs> right there, chat. There we go. It really wants me to use this character a lot, so we might upgrade him. Just because of how many rooms we've had to use him now. At least that was a pretty easy blue key to get. So maybe we'll get the ability to, like, shoulder bash to go through those. You know, do, like, the Wario... Oh, yeah, the Wario tackle through those. Because, like, why is it... Why is it exactly a 2x2, two two, chat, if we can't destroy those later? Actually, the thing up there makes that fight more annoying than it should be. Oh well, if we die, we die. Oh, I thought I didn't realize he was walking backwards. It's very dramatic, but it's not a very hard fight. The only reason that was even slightly annoying was to do the ceiling enemy. That was it. Okay, so unlock this earlier. I don't have another... Oh no, I have one more key. Is this worth doing? The spikes in the blood. Oh, that's so rude. I almost jumped into that. That was rude. I'm glad I looked briefly. I'm dead. Oh, I'm taking five, I mean. What is, go what is going on here? This is a very large number of these to fight. Now, let's go this way. He does angle them differently. Okay, I was wondering if it was my imagination or not. It's not just like a guaranteed shot. They really are everywhere. Just bum 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 bum. I'm just like, stop it. You can have other monsters game. I can't reach them, seriously. If you, if you had a way to reflect the projectiles out of reach monsters back at them, you could defeat them from a distance. Who knows what could happen by doing that? Or you could just let me play the mage. Screw you. <laughs> right, chat? Or just let me play mage. Jerks. I mean, Bowieser could kill him from there. I don't think I could go through here due to how it was set up earlier. So this might be a shortcut back? The things twitching in the walls or the bugs or whatever they are, I keep- I like almost flinch at them. I'm like, what the heck is that? Alright, so I think we unlocked a shortcut. But it's like, it's still not good enough of a shortcut, if it makes sense. Okay. Can I really not reach that because I'm not the bow girl? Okay. I was gonna, I was gonna say, chat, the salt would be real. If only you had a way of reflecting projectiles. <laughs> right, chat? If, if only one could find it. Thanks, game. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, that's much better. Wait, how do I wait, how do I get past this without taking damage? Wait, what? Wait, what? How did wait? But I can't jump or duck anywhere. That okay, that felt a little unfair. I would like to state that was like Terra Enigma levels of uh hallway backtracking. I don't know how you would dodge that, to be honest. It's not like I didn't hold forward the whole time. Yeah. I guess we could see if it reflects those. Now, is it the sword that reflects or the projectile that reflects? Oh. I guess it's the projectile. We're gonna be here a while, Chad. <laughs> just, I'm trying. It just He's too far for me. Yeah, it's just kind of scary to want to immediately reflect a giant projectile. Because I'm sure there are going to be many projectiles I cannot deflect. I was hoping to test that later. Wow, this is more annoying than it looks. There we go. There we go. We're gonna be here a while, chat. Listen. At least the sword range makes me want to use him a little more. It does fix the problem I was having against the other boss, which is range. Because he attacks really quickly, which is what I kind of like. I mean, defense doesn't hurt, don't get me wrong. Yeah, but it absolutely, it absolutely would be so much faster to kill with the uh, sniper girl. Absolutely. No disagreement there at all. What did we even do this for? Just the ability to come here, but with a different character? Wow. Uh, I don't think that was worth it. <laughs> just like, I don't think that was worth our time, to be honest. Um, There's a very strong possibility I will die in the near future. Also, if the sword and the projectile hit, it does two damage now. Hmm. Uh, I was running out of space to dodge. At least I could just bully him now. That's always fun. Oh, I'm so dead, by the way, Chad. Just rest in peace, me. There, I feel like I'm gonna hit the spike. Yeah. It's about, about what I thought would happen. I don't think this is worth resetting, because I have progress. How does this work, exactly? I mean, how is it possible to send us back? It's a resurrection. Ripple in time and space. All that is living will come back to life, just as they were before. Soul and stones are eternal. Time and space are only concept of mortal beings. Everything that stands still will remain still. Does it answer your question? I think I understand it a bit more. So I, I could get another health. Ooh. So now I just don't want any of these because I feel like I got cheated on things like inner fire and candlelight. Like, I don't know what death orb is, but I kind of don't want it now. Uh... I can increase their attack speed? Oh. That would fix her problem. Save her points for now. I could get 666. I'm sure it's probably not worth it. Let's see how this goes. So I already feel like he's going to be my boss killer. 
Unless the gift... Unless gift means activating the lift. I guess we could try next time. I wouldn't put it past this game to force me to buy the lift. But not explain that it's the lift. Yeah, I could do 14 damage up close, which is kind of nice. Um... I guess the question is with the map. Do I want to go up into the right? I guess I could just go to the right. As I said before, I actually like the general exploration so far in the castle. I think there's only been like one room that hasn't felt worth it so far. But I like the introduction of the monsters. So I think the dungeon itself so far seems fine. I just don't think I like the retry mechanic, which could make or break for some people. Yeah, so now I have about the same range as the mage, but I just have better stats than the mage. So I might as well just use this character for a while. I had a feeling they were going to give this character an item because they tend to prefer melee characters. Wait, what? Why are you up here? <laughs> I just like, knock it off. At least I could do this. Everywhere, indeed. There's a door over here I couldn't access before. I don't think I timed that jump properly. I landed on it, that's so sad. Hmm? Void charm. Okay. So I warped. Oh. Well, that's that's just rude. Hitting that hurts you. Wow. Can I kill it though? I can. I don't know what that did, but I did kill it. Rip my health total. That's what we like to call rude. <laughs> right, chat? Oh. Oh. That's pretty well hidden. I would not have thought even based off of the floor at all that I could have gone down there. That is very interesting. Hmm. Eat. So we're getting a knowledge checkpoint. So I needed. So even if I came here early, it wouldn't matter because I didn't have the void charm. Take me back to the beginning. <laughs> Alright, chat. Just take me back real quick. It's fine. I just want a full health restore. You have not yet fulfilled your promise. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We'll save up for gift. I'm sure we'll get trolled by it. I'll play the whole entire game holding down, pretty much. I was holding up before. Let's hope that gift unlocks this. Is there anything else that felt like there was a secret? Not really. Yeah, we're gonna hope the bow girl gets an upgrade and the mage gets an upgrade soon because right now this upgrade has like fixed a lot of the complaints i'm sure most players would have which is giving him slightly better range and now he can even deal with projectiles Cause enemies like this are even easier to kill compared to the other characters I'm still rewarded for getting close. I do two extra damage. Um... Just thinking if there's anything else I want to retry. I have one key, so I might as well see what was to the left here. I think I went to the right before with the girl.
made him walk into it. Anyway, I want to see what's over here. Activates elev- oh. So I could have had this slightly earlier if I didn't use the blue key on the other place, which kind of sucks. But that's visible. <laughs> Whatever. Right, chat, because I used the blue key on the treasure area, if you remember. We got it while, like, climbing this place. Then midway through, we consumed it. Well, at least we have the shortcut unlocked. What do I want to do here? Do I want to go left? Maybe? At least I can go bonk. I definitely jumped up attacked. Did not reflect. I must have canceled my animation or something. Like, I just barely missed it. Unfortunate. So I still don't know how to go further up than what we saw. Nor do I know how to go up from here. There's some other trick in the other room. ghosts. We got the thing that was in here already. Hmm. Strange. Have the map guy reach it and never right pull down? No idea. Feels like I'll die if I go to the boss. What happens if I don't go to the boss? Free blue key. Much like the Ridley statue in Super Metroid, we have to kill the bosses. That's our boss indicator. <laughs> Terrifying statue peers into your soul with dead eyes. It's scary. Feels some familiarity coming from the statue. Was I, supposed, was I supposed to come here as the mage? Kind of unfortunate. Well, I guess that answers that question. <laughs> I was gonna say, Chad, you ready for me to die instantly when I go to fight that other boss? You dare fight me, mortal! I just die instantly. Statue of Epithemus, no doubt. Probably used for worship decades ago. I don't really want to touch the fire. But hey, we got a blue key back. 
Maybe that'll save us some time in the future. Alright, let's go see what the boss does. We're in the middle of messing around anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Like, oh no, I'll lose three minutes of progress. <laughs> I'm a little sad so far. I mean, I hopefully at some point we could switch mid fight. But for now, we'll take we'll make do with what we got. Is being able to switch between the knight and the bow person would be useful, especially in that other fight where the boss was just full screen camping us beyond a place that could not reach them. So let me get this straight. That was worth more than 500 souls. Thanks to the uh, ridiculously bad health to point ratio. See, that was the health total I thought we were gonna get from the health up. Right, chat? That, that's more in align with, with expectations. Like I could survive a, a single hit more is fine. Yeah, these people, I mean, they somehow, they somehow beat me here, and then they set up camp in the weirdest of places. There we go, a little, little walk animation there. Did I want to do anything else with those other rooms? I don't remember. I'm assuming I probably do at some point. We had the blue door I couldn't reach in the middle. Um, I don't remember what stopped us from going down there, but I'm going to ignore it for now. I need to switch to the mage at some point. I think we killed Mr. Uh, Chuck and Throw earlier in this room. I get so scared while platforming, chat. You have no idea. Me and platforming don't get along. Now I should be able to hit the orb we saw earlier. All that just to access that. Okay, right, if I take stupid damage... I guess I could reset by going that way. So sad, we need the mage more. I think I'll increase the mage. I think I'll increase basically everybody's attack speed. The knights, I think I just want to make sure it does like a bare minimum with melee. But I think even that, I think I'm going to focus attack speed just to be like pew 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 pew. So I don't have a silver key. There is a switch down here. don't have a silver key, so I can't do anything with this room. Okay. I have one blue key I got from the top of the area. There's only one key door I think I can use this on. I'm just looking to see. So we never completed our routes to the bottom right. So I guess I can go back there at some point. I'm gonna go right and down versus down and right. There we go. Much easier to kill with this character compared to the other ones now. I mean, look at that. We just straight bully them. I didn't go this way yet. It's over here. Oh. 
you must be this female to make this jump. <laughs> no, no light jump for me. Hmm. Well, I guess I play as the bow user. Go this way. Kinda sucks. I don't know how she could deal with any of these enemies other than just not kill them. I guess I'll deal with that for now. Yeah, like, she's not able to even, like, bully it to death. So we definitely need attack speed increase with her if we're gonna be forced to use her more. Sometimes sacrifice is necessary. Is it worth spilling blood to have things you want? Wow! Is it telling me I have to take damage in order to access that room to the far side? Wow. That's kind of messed up. I'll give you sacrifice. And actually... Can or can't, Calvisham? You said can't actually go to the jump up those, but never pays up. I'm assuming you mean can. Well, I guess I'm gonna make a jump. So there's a blue key. I don't think that was worth it. <laughs> oh, she shoots so slow. At least this is paying for attack speed increase. This is how I view this. Testing out her land cancels if she has any. I do love that that she could just kind of like start prepping a shot and then climb and shoot. That's kind of funny. Yeah, you gotta put the dot dot dots in the pew pew pews. We're up a key. Make sure there's nothing over here. Wow, that is such a rude item. Well, at this rate, I don't really care if I live or die. Since we, we took forced damage to take that key, even according to the game, we had to do it that way. Unless we literally hold off forever and come back with some kind of super ability. Like, if we get glide or double jump, as I said before. Oh. I don't have the mage. Man. Really gonna make me go back up there to switch. That's so rude. Alright, we almost have enough for the gift. I'm very tempted to save, die, see what the gift is, and if it's bad, I just reload. <laughs> I'm also very tempted to do that. Like, if we know we're, we could just die on purpose real quick. So we need the mage to potentially activate those passageways. I think I just missed it when I was playing as him earlier. I walked too quickly. Damn, we're still like 51 away from that being useful. close yet so far if only i had known the others were temporary and had gotten attack speed and boost instead there we go
You have to press into the future with that one. Yeah, you just, you just have to believe. You're like, listen. We're almost at 666. I don't think it's quite worth dying yet. But we're getting close to the point where it'd be worth dying. Itchy's idiot. Care about your stupid ceiling block. I don't think I hit the spider kill count yet. I don't remember if I did for the skeleton buddy. Well, that answers that question. And now if I die, it'd be worth going back. All we need to see is like another elevator and that would be the perfect time to die. Remembered what it said about hidden switches. Hmm. Enemy's kind of in a very annoying spot for me. It's blocking my passage. Can you not? Oh. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what is this? Now to make it a really annoying place, ride the platform go-kart into the fireball. Whoa, spikes below, dude. Thanks, game. So we'll fight him for a little bit. On the plus side, this should be pretty easy for the mage at least, because I can just literally jump out of the way. by four Cyclops. That seems really heinous. I feel like I'm going to bonk my head when I go to jump. Yep. That's about what I expected to happen. Oh, I needed both blue keys to progress? Oh, that's evil. Yeah, that's annoying. I'm jumping, like, slightly too early. Platforming is not my forte. Actually, there is something I would like to do. We're gonna quit. We're, we're gonna do the, uh, real-time fact check. Hold on. We just need to get to a save point, which I think was down here, right? Hold on, chat. Yeah, there we go. Now we just need to die. Oh, that, wait, that doesn't actually damage you? Wait, what? It doesn't? I thought for sure those were real spikes. Huh. Interesting. Is there no way to get injured at the beginning part then? Unfortunate if true. Let's find something to kill us real quick. Actually, was it over here spikes or something that I couldn't do anything with? No, no, no. Okay. It still looks like I could go through those blocks at some point. Maybe the fire up here will kill me. <laughs> right, chat? There's one way to find out if they let you save and quit. We need to test this. That way I can figure out if items are actually good without wasting my time on temporary items. I'm sure Epithemius is going to be very confused. Yeah, yeah. Alright, question. How about a gift? 
We see the mark of Epithemius. Alcus can talk at him in Epithemius statue without having to die. Uh... I guess I'll keep it. I thought about it. Like, we know where to use that at least. I guess I'll keep that for now. It could have been worse. The only reason the FX is open from the start. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, arguably, I don't need it, but I'll keep it for now. He is just so fast to killing right now, Chad. Oh my gosh, he's so much stronger than our other characters. No contest at this point. The mirror reflection really locks him in as the best character right now. But we will get a mage upgrade, presumably, at some point. But that right there, there's nothing the enemy can do. The fact he can even hit that now is insane. V2 concealing block cheese everything. So efficient. My head. I could try again to land on the other thing. How did that not kill? I swear we traded. Like, I took damage right as I killed him. So unfortunate. Now I can platform, of course. Whatever. I got scared there were actual wind effects. I'm not gonna lie, chat. Like, it's just, I panic let go of that ladder so fast. You have no idea. I was like, are you gonna wind blow me? I was like, don't do that to me. Just like the PTSD from other games. I'm like, please no. I don't wanna do wind levels. Valid fear. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. I. I am so sh chat. I'm gonna be real with you. I am so shocked I made that jump in between those two blocks. I thought for sure I missed. In fact, I'm surprised I'm even on the block that I am currently. I thought that was gonna go much worse. What the heck is that? Oh, it's shooting projectiles at me. Cute, I guess. Damn, how tanky is this? Slap, 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 slap. Okay. Sadly, I lost my ability to continue. Now the question is, does it spawn like that every time? It does. Oh, annoying. Game, please. <laughs> Game, please. How did I take damage but also reflect? I don't understand. Is that double jump? Listen, we'll take damage for double jump. Hmm. Is this another item for him? Oh man, chat. He's having some main character privilege right now. Can we talk about this? <laughs> Where are the other characters' buffs? Okay. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, I don't like that at all. Um. Oh, no. For chat that didn't understand what happened, this is what happened. And you could, oh, God, you could just go flying off of platforms. <laughs> I don't know about, I don't know about that. So I guess we do have long jump now, but oh, no. That's a little scary. 
I have one key left. Yeah, I don't stop at the edge of platforms. I go like that. Like something. Climbing on the left side seems very annoying. So I feel like there is a let's say 80% chance I don't have the right character. Oh that that was just rude. That was just rude. Well, we unlock this. Okay. I think I'm unlocking a shortcut. Let's make sure to unlock it all the way here. I guess that answers the question of why I can go to the other side. Is there something I couldn't reach previously that Dash would let me reach now? Also, what's the point of this room? Oh, there's another hidden switch. Answers that question. Oh, this is so scary. Oh my god, you go so far. Like, look, that's without holding a direction chat, by the way. Like, I, if I go neutral on the D-pad, that's what happens. Just so that you're aware, I'm not holding forward with dash. I'm just going, wee And then brace death. So he didn't seem to have any real mobility options. But now he is ultra dashy. I can't mid-air dash yet. Now if we die, it doesn't matter as much. Our attack power is just high enough that we're able to combo kill these. Why did this room? I remember. We haven't been here though. Is this yet another shortcut? <laughs> Assuming so, based off the map. No. Take that bird. No vibing. Only death. Oh, this is the place that needed the blue thing, right? Yeah, now I can get to the blue key thing. I don't think this enemy deserves music anymore. <laughs> right, chat? It just... I, I genuinely don't think there's anything you could do. <laughs> Rick's coming 1.0, yeah. Like, yeah, just so chat is aware, I can't, like... When I'm in the dash, I'm committed. If I jump, I can cancel it. That kind of reminds me of, like... Like, quirky Dracula cancels. I do weird things like that. Oh, I need a mage. Fortunate. Um, I should be able to get this, though, for more health. I fell. I'm so sad. I'm so sad that I fell. What's this, by the way? It's a map that locates items on your map. Uh, so it's like the standard Legend of Zelda map marker. Okay. Yeah... Like, when I do the movement like this specifically, it reminds me of uh, when you play Soma in Castlevania. He definitely crouches like the Mega Man X, but the way I have to use it feels like that. Oh, jeez, it goes so far. Maybe like literally Mega Man X dash boots? Because they get kind of complicated in the later games. Every time I fling myself. So does that mean I only get one attempt at that entire thing? I have to go all the way around if I fail at any point? That really sucks, I'm not gonna lie. Slap, slap, slap. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I like that that could just kill me if I wanted to. 
At least I have a fast way to kill myself, I guess, for a meter. I think this ultimately doesn't help me with what I need to do. So what? how do I get back to the room that I was just in? So I have to come from above, but then I can go to the right now with the mage? I think I'm just going to take a death and restore my health. He didn't unlock anything new in the shop, did he? No. Oh wait, Titan's Ego. Hmm, we might experiment with that one. And it'll be easier to quit out, I guess, because I could be at the top floor and quit now. That movement is kind of fast. I like that I canceled this dash animation, but he still did the dash graphic. I remember the dash itself. Excuse me. Reconfirm. Meant to say, when I dashed, he did the crouch, but he didn't get the momentum of the dash because I canceled it so quickly. I just did this. Poor game. And now we have to play as the mage. This isn't bad. It just, I no longer have dash boots, which makes me sad. Uh... I'm trying to think with all of our rooms unlocked, which is the fastest way to go. Is it actually faster to... I think it's actually faster to go from here. Oh, it did double input. It double input. So sad. Yeah, so far, I would say I like the castle for the most part. I am definitely not a fan of the die and get upgrades component. Mostly just due to item descriptions and having to always go back to the start. Like, I like that the rooms themselves have, like, shortcuts so I don't have to do long, tedious things every single time. But at the same time, I'm still forced to do it often. So combine that without the ability to just heal every time for full. At a campground, it makes me a little sad. There's a room to the right here I haven't been to. Hmm. Can I reach that with dash boots? Pew pew pew, chat. Let's find out. Um. Could use my blue door key here. Now I could talk to him here if I want to. There's also a wall up there, but I can't go any further. The second place I could go. I don't think unlocking this door was worth it. So we might be down a blue key, unfortunately. We don't have what we need to make it worth it. On the plus side, more health overall on another death. So I would say unlike some of the other Castlevania games we play, it does actually genuinely feel like there's a lot of items to find. I think it's been a big problem with some of, like, the Game Boy videos that we often play, where it's, like, there's just, like, legit garbage to pick up. Like, your reward for doing an entire thing is, like, some mediocre item that doesn't matter. But now it's, like, most power-ups are kind of scarce here, but you can still come across relics or things that open up shortcuts. So it feels like everything at least is a minor reward, even if it's not in, like, item form. Actually, I think it might be better to go this way. 
Yes, because that's a short cut a bit earlier. I thought I landed back on the platform. I was looking at the enemy. I did not land on the platform. Oh. Dash. Dash betrayed me. I can open the thing in case I fall. Does a little mean that I had to be a very specific character to do that? Otherwise, I have to do that this loop over and over again. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of rude. Unfortunately, I did lock myself out of the health up. But hey, if I get another blue key in the future, I guess I can pick it up. So yeah, the other the other blue door path was not worth it because I much rather would have had the five health increase. Oh well. So at this point, what is my goal? Like, we have a monster up there. When I look at this, we never got a silver key. There's only one item I haven't picked up that I've seen, so... I see one door I haven't been into, which is going upwards. Maybe two in the middle. And then, literally in the center of the map, there's a blue door I couldn't get through. I guess I'll go forward. If I die, it doesn't matter. I haven't really done anything. I just found a passageway that didn't lead to anything I could do yet. Which is a bit disappointing. Let's at least try to go this way and see what happens. Does this kill you? Okay, it doesn't. <laughs> it's like, uh, you know what, Chad? When you're at 12 health, you are willing to just go like, will this crush me to death? I'm telling you. <laughs> the, the, the... Oh, I didn't fall down the platform fast enough. That sucks. The urge to survive is very low. It's like, take me, death. I care not for what you will give me. Return. All that for the silver key that I need. The point being sure it's kind of BS? Yeah, I agree. It would have been- see, that would have been the mechanic, like, you could swap out to try to keep them going, and then, like, over time they might heal, or, like, you kill an enemy and they get healed or something. That would have been kind of interesting. That way there's still, like, a bit of a challenge. So dead. Oh, wait, no. So I got the thing I need to progress. I like the giant face in the background, by the way. All this just to come here. I think we might be embracing good old Uncle Death soon, chat. <laughs> just like, there's no point to going like super far at low health, which I think is the, kind of the problem with this kind of format, where like, if you're playing at Castlevania and you're injured, you just go to a save room and you're like, cool, that's my checkpoint. But, like, we don't really have a checkpoint. My checkpoint is going all the way back to the beginning of the castle. Can you imagine if you're playing, like, Alucard, and you're like, oops. I, I bonked my head on, like, Skeleton Jack projectile, and it was like, you know what, just go back to normal castle. <laughs> you're in a reverse castle, doesn't matter. Go back to start. I have surprisingly made it to this point. This went better than expected. I think I have to take the upper path here. I guess it doesn't matter who I do it as. If I die, I die. It doesn't matter. At least we get some pra platforming practice. Oh, I go back to start. Yeah. Kind of like the safe music version of the song we just heard. This one's not bad. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Chad, I don't think I'm making it past this spike pit without the dash boots, but we could try. Oh, okay, we timed it well. Oh, one of these, I see. Did that glitch again where he starts auto gliding? I don't think that's intentional. It, it happened for just a moment, but I jumped out of it. And so I'll start going in like the jump animation, but I didn't jump, if that makes sense. I don't know if it's because like small deviations on the floor gets confused. Or what caused that just then? I wanted that switch so badly. I died for it. Okay, so let's see. Uh, attack speed up, please. Uh, there we go. Right, chat? There we go. I got the I got the real upgrade that I wanted. We have to play as her again. It should feel a little less bad. So the problem is, my destination is not really near anything that helps me in general. Uh, I mean, I guess I could try from the this elevator. I'm like as basically as far away from the elevator in the warp as possible. Like if I go here, I have to go as far right as I can here. At least we have more health. I would have preferred to have 42 health, but whatever. if she gets on the ladder. I feel like she does. It's hard to tell. At least it seems more consistent, if nothing else. Funk, 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 funk. There we go. She's holding on with her legs alone, I think so. Funk, 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 funk. I thought I got the dash there. That was the scariest moment for me. I definitely held dash and jump. Only got one. What? I feel like shenanigans happened there. How did that get through my attack? Did the projectile spawn in front of it and my sword whiffed? What was that? I got hit while standing still. That was weird. Yeah, something weird. Yeah, maybe the enemy ate the wave or something happened. Jank happened. I should not have been hit by that. Actually cheated. Hmm, so I have two paths. Let's go up first. So both it. Wait, did I bonk my head on an imaginary ceiling? What what the heck was that? Oh, there is a block there. What's the point of this? Oh, just to show me that I need the mage again? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Whatever. I missed. 
profound sadness chat I missed. Such a good dash, too. I got scared. Expect. The roots look alive. And my mother described tree roots from before the Great War. But now trees are just dry, frail husks. What a shame. Bro, leave me alone. Listen, you're not even a boss anymore. I don't even know why. Stop playing the music for this enemy. <laughs> right, chat? I'm just like, it doesn't matter. Oh, there's another room that needs a blue key. Damn. Chose poorly two different times with blue keys. Not rewarded. Bonk. Bonk. Listen, I could go up there and fight him, but I've committed now. There we go. <laughs> right, chat? The commitment is real. There's a blue door I can't do anything with because I don't have any more keys, which is sad. We know one blue door is guaranteed five health, so I should just go take that next time I get a chance. Fine. Oh, it shoots these to hit them. Gotcha. Cute, I guess, if you don't have the reflector character. <laughs> Word enemy. It's, it's not even like, it's not even a mini boss. He's just getting actually destroyed by the stage. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully we can swap characters here or else I'm going to be very sad in a moment. I don't know why he was there. I like the, like, almost photorealistic lion heads here for some reason. Why? I I don't even know if they match the art style. I'm, I'm kind of distracted by them, honestly. We're like, wow, we're gonna draw all these people with massive heads, and it's like photorealistic lion says hello. chat. Shortcut, I guess. Um, I'd prefer not to die until we get a bigger shortcut. Keep going with this character for now, in case there's another dumb, uh, switch I gotta hit. I think my hand was kind of forced there. Speaking of dumb switches... Please don't be a boss. You can be a cutscene. I don't care about a cutscene. Uh oh. This is most unfortunate. I, I came in here with almost no HP. Oh, I didn't think he was going upwards. Well, that's super uh -oh. annoying. We may be in trouble. That's super annoying. I'm like, he's not marked on the map. That was rude. Well, I don't really want strength up on any of these characters at this point. I don't think it's a problem of damage. It's a problem of, am I just randomly just gonna get ganked at like low health? Yeah. Yeah, that was just kind of unfortunate. I don't even know what room- See, the problem was, like, because he, he's not marked on the map as a skull, I don't even know what room we were in at that time. Because I, I didn't expect to die, like, literally that second. Um, I went up. Maybe it was at this one, like, literally dead center. There's two key doors I can't do anything with. So I don't have any more blue keys. I- 
guess I'll switch to an actual boss character instead of just randomly being in a boss arena. Cool. Yeah, I mean, at least with things like... Castlevania, it gives you a pretty good indicator a majority of the time you're gonna fight a boss. That was just kind of like, oh, it's a boss room, but I'm not near any kind of save. What do I even do? Question mark. So, unfortunately, mandatory boss progression there. Uh, killed me. So this time I would like to actually have been able to swap so that I can fight the boss. It didn't look too bad to deal with. Although, with his death aura, does his death aura injure me if I'm too close? Or is that just a graphic effect? Oh, that game, the game did not know what to do there for a second. Because if getting close hurts us, I can't play the knight, because I'm pretty sure his aura is bigger. But the only way to know is to fight him, and he's kind of far in. It almost happened again. I saw it that time too. The projectile got eaten by the spider. So it didn't deflect the projectile. Rude. I could try it with him. We got here pretty quickly. Which I took damage from the other thing. I at least want to kill him and then come back with the mage. But we'll see. Can I actually enter that aura without dying? Let's find out. Okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's just hosed. Chat, it's almost like if they let me play a character that can defeat bosses, that can defeat bosses. It's almost like that's a true statement. <laughs> like, wasn't that much easier when you just do like a million more damage and way more defense? Boom, 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 indeed. He didn't look hard at all. I just kind of got jump scared by the boss. So rude. I'm gonna kill this eye statue out of spite. So because the sword attacks so quickly and it has range and a little bit of damage, this is definitely our boss killer character, without a doubt. But I'd prefer to only fight bosses with this character at this point. I think I prefer general exploration with some of the others, if not for the fact that he just got jump boots, which kind of makes him almost mandatory in some areas. Ooh, he didn't kill fast enough. So you can see the difference between the characters. Knight kills, mage does not. Uh, that was unfortunate timing. I should have waited a little longer to bait the shot. Bait the shot. That answers the question of where the key is. Three, ki three kings meant to discuss peace in times of war. Then two birds to the east, west, or east and west to spread the news. But four nights later, the war started and all three kings perished. Okay. 
pew 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 chat. I had dash, I would have dashed from that to the other place. So sad. Dash denied. I actually did not mean to open the door there, I wanted to kill the skeleton first. Yeah, we're gonna try to pump up the attack speed of all of our characters, so that way it feels a little less awkward to play them. Or cut, yes please. Yeah, we're never, ever, ever restoring the candles ever again, now that I know what it does. That was a waste of about 200 souls. The soul collector, though, is useful, because every single one of these souls from the red enemies would have been basically put in the trash. I'd like to also state that, uh... Oh, that damages you from being down there? I didn't see any spikes specifically where I was standing, but whatever. I guess that's fair. I was gonna say, the one time I have to switch into the mage, it makes me go back to this character. And plus he also gets bonus damage versus bosses, that's funny. Um... Missile size... Let's focus on attack speed first. Better. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, so we'll go a little further. We'll take a break. Hell faults on the game. But so far, like, most of the boss fights seem mostly fair. I just would say for the first boss, it was just kind of like, oh, there's a lot of different moves to learn. It's not a hard boss. It's just that when you think it's going to start repeating something, like, Mega Man only has, like, two or three, like, major patterns for a boss. So when I see, like, two to three major moves, I think it's over. And then I'm like, oh, it's doing another variation, followed by, oh, it's doing yet another variation, followed by, oh, it's still going. It's still doing another variation I haven't seen. So there's definitely, like... It's not, like, mechanically hard to beat the bosses, but it does feel like a very big knowledge check compared to, like, what I'm used to in a Castlevania-style game. Which isn't, like, a bad thing, per se, but it's, you know, you have to be able to realize that to set the tone that, you know, these bosses are going to be on a very different league than something very basic like Castlevania or, like, early Mega Man. I was expecting more to actually spin around the gears uh, a little bit. That attack speed is so good. Oh. Platforming betrayed me. I'll pop this just because. Man, come on. I really bonked again. That sucks. Platforming, please. As I said before, I feel like most of my deaths are going to be on the platforms and not the bosses. Where I'm going to die to a boss because I lost all my health while platforming. That also is a very true statement. I need these guys out of here. They're very distracting when I'm trying to figure out where to go. There we go. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway. <laughs> right, chat? So anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, just... I I don't know... I, I guess you could call that... A, is that really a mini-boss at that point? Is it? I mean, I, I... It technically survived longer. So I unlocked a path to the right. 
I was just like, listen, swing, 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 swing is the key. So I think the goal is to just max attack speed on all of my protagonists. But if I max it on this character, bosses that aren't just like teleporting full screen are just going to die to me really quickly. There we go. Beat the slime the only way we know how. There's an upper path we still didn't go to, but I'm kind of intrigued by what's down here. I could not imagine doing this area without playing as this character. Listen, chat, this would annoy me to no end. I'm going to be real with you. Fortunately, I don't think we have to due to how the game is set up. But well, imagine not having the mirror sword or something. It'd be a nightmare hallway. How did I not get out of the distance in time? It sucks. Hmm. I have to kind of memorize where the good path is. Oh, it's too fast. It's a little unfortunate. The room, the floor above it has like a good visual cue. This one doesn't. I would rather if they have done something a little different for those floors. At least to indicate where the spikes were coming from. <laughs> what, what the heck is this? I'm gonna go with no. Uh, need the red key. We haven't seen a single red key so far in our playthrough. I don't really want to pop the candle. Slice didn't kill him. I got bopped too early. Oh. Another unlock? Oh, that's actually huge. That is so good that I went this way first. Okay, chat, so for the first time, I feel like I made the right decision and took this route. For the first time. That saves me a lot of time later. We have one blue key. I could go use to get health, so I think I'm going to go do so. And if I die getting the health, it'll be like, oh well, right chat? Like, okay. So we still can't do anything with the weird gold boxes, so I'm assuming something will happen with them eventually. not kill him in time. So close. Just in case the skeleton graphic goes over that platform, I didn't trust it. Oops. Didn't mean to pause there. I mean, I guess there's no reason to not pop this. I'm not going to come back this way. Punk. <laughs> Poor bird thing. I guess I didn't have to go this way per se, but we're, we're showing off, I guess. I feel like thinking this up just makes sense, chat. I think it just makes sense. Okay, so where do we go? So there's the upper path on the upper left we can't do anything with, I don't think. There's a room kind of in the red that I don't remember why we couldn't go there. Then there was the lift, so we might as well go back to the lift. What was stopping us from going up in the red room? Other than there not being a super immediately obvious way to go up there. I'm gonna check it out real quick and try to remember. Then... 
I wish this was a shortcut. That would have been so good. Forgot about the spikes. Whatever. We're gonna reset our health soon anyway, because our destination is a lift. You know what I mean, chat? Like, we're gonna naturally kill ourselves at some point anyway. I just wanna see. Whoa. Oh, it's like a hole in the upper left. Chad, I didn't even see it because our health bar was there. I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> didn't even notice there was a hole in there there. So how do we reach that? Hmm. We should probably go see where that leads. And if we die before then, it doesn't really matter because we have a shortcut back here. Bonk. Did that. Didn't see... Like, I'm assuming I fall down from the right here. Unless there's a hidden ladder. We can check for the hidden ladder. Uh... I mean, in theory, you could just, like, fall through this, but I don't have enough health to test it. Let's check the other side. I'm not gonna rule out this room yet. I'm just gonna rule out there's nothing I can immediately do that is obvious to me. Oh, this room. Out of here. So was there something here? It did have those weird... Oh, I almost killed myself because I reset the platform. It does have that weird thing where it's guarding everything there. So maybe there is something I should be hitting over here. It's a meter while we're here. Ooh, you like that? You like that, chat? That was a good dash. So, is is there nothing I could do over here? Huh. Grind yourself and drift down below like a creepy rain. I'm thinking so, cause but I don't have a lot of health to test it is the crappy part. I have to do it more than once. Cause that's the only way I see you fitting in there is you have to fall through. So unfortunately, Chad, I think we're gonna take a death here. Test it out. Thank you, Rapid Slash Sword. Your small upgrade and your ridiculous attack speed have saved me a lot of headaches. <laughs> I got a I got a nice little quick sword slash while jumping. That was interesting. Yeah, because I was gonna say no other place looked correct other than what I was mentioning before. The question is, do I do it on the left side or the right side? I think I just drop down. No. Not left side. Try the right side. There is a place on the bottom right that maybe I can go down. Oh, can we go faster with his attack speed? Oh, plus more. Let's give him bigger missiles. So now we're just looking for the secret. Our, our lives no longer matter. We're like, listen, plot can wait. <laughs> there yes. Again, it is kind of crazy to me that you can completely skip the lift key because we don't actually need to go there to get it. 
Imagine playing to this part of the game and not having access to that chat. I I wouldn't know what to do other than scream. Like I would be actually like super super pissed at the game. I can't believe I touched that platform. That sucks. Like that should have been a boss drop, to be real with you. As far as they can all go sideways, yeah, they are in a position that does not make very much sense. Alright, so what is the secret? I might reset just to come back to that room now. Rather than take the long walk, because I don't really need the souls right now. I just want to make progress. Oh, that was a good dash cancel. Flash jump cancel. Oh, can we not go down here? How do... Wait, how do we access this room then? Hmm. Interesting. I didn't see any other fake walls. Hmm. Right, chat? Hmm. Because we got the secret switch that was up here. It just led to orbs. Because I thought for sure it was, like, just kind of fall through. And let's... Because I was thinking maybe you could somehow get to the bottom right, where there's, like, no immediate spikes in the background as, like, a visual cue as to where to go. But, yeah, I don't see a way to do what I want to do. real quick. Like, I'm pretty sure I checked this area for secrets already. Just one more time here. Yeah, I can't do anything there. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, I'll die at some point because the intent was to... Oh, I didn't jump cancel properly there. The intent was to just explore that secret. Hmm. Like... I went up the long walk, but I thought I held left everywhere along the other parts. So this place is called... The Mechanism. Uh, is there anything else I need to do in the mechanism, or is that- that's literally the only room I think I've been visited there. There's also some kind of weird... ...room here that I don't remember what was here. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, you can't cancel dashes with attacks? Ooh, that's not very Mega Man-esque. I'm not gonna lie. That is not Mega Man-esque. You always can dash attack in Mega Man. That's a little awkward. I go left a little bit. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. That also kind of sucks. Saying I missed an item in the other room? I just noticed on the indicator. Really, what was in this room? Oh, the key. The key, that's right. There was a blue key in the urn. I remember. You know what? I'm glad I came back here. I forgot we didn't collect this. We saw it, but I didn't collect it. But now we have the means to collect it. There we go. 
Alright, so that was necessary for us to pick up at some point. So I'm glad we did that now. We have the key that was here. I could just take the lift. I think I will. How ominous this room is. We haven't been able to kill those things yet. We might get a weapon later that will. I'm just double backing to make sure there's no weird, like, other path I'm forgetting about. I, just, I went to dash attack again. I'm like, that's not a thing in this game. Alright, okay, so let's take lift. But at least we have Luffy now. This room is still goofy. Oh, that is a dropy down here. Interesting. What was here? It's like a music room to me. This is the game's music. Purchase insight three times. Complete the unknown mode to unlock. Yeah, we didn't do the thing where we just immediately turn around. We could do that later. That reaction to realize that Spike was up, Chad, I was like, uh-uh, I don't want any of that. All that was just for a music room. Uh, right, chat? Uh... So now I'm at a point where I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere, and there's nothing I really want in the mechanism where I'm at. I'd have to go up. Mm -hmm. I guess what I could do is go left more. Can't go out that way. The screen transition ate my jump. That's so sad. I'll eat this, because I'm not coming back here. Whatever. Oh, I'm sorry, it was down. I'm trying to recall specifically why I didn't go this way. Like, we had to go here for the unlock earlier. Did I just miss a, a door or something? We had to play as the mage here. On the left side. I can only do- oh, I can only do it from that door. That's right. That's annoying. So I have to come from the other red room. Yeah, I think that's going to be a problem with the map. Needing to, like, memorize every single alternate entrance, that is going to take a toll on me for sure. I have to go this way to go to where I want to go. I do fall really fast. Yeah. I like it, but as I said before... It's a little better now that we have elevators, but it's not entirely fixed. Like, do you see I have to do, like, this long... Like, all I want to do is go down one room, three rooms left. But in order to do that, we <laughs> there's, like, only certain ways I can enter the room. But it's not, like, immediately obvious when you look at the map, unless you remember specifically what was in the room that stopped you from going the normal way. There's a lot of zigzagging. So kind of like how we see this, I still need to go to the left. Jokes on you, I'm already this character. And now we're here. Now I'm gonna go down a floor. I remember popping this. I 
killed these. I just never went up here? I must have died on the way back or something. Chad, of course I don't have the right character. Of course. So sad. <laughs> that that jump though when I realized I was about to die, that was interesting. Felt it in my soul, chat. Can we talk about that? I like fell off the platform and still got my jump. There we go, fast ladder. Good. I mean, I might as well as unlock this and get an idea of what we need. And even if I die and doing this, it doesn't matter since I'm already injured. Which again, is like kind of a weird way to play the game that I'm just killing myself over and over because there's no point to continuing without health. Very opposite of what you would normally think in a Castlevania. We have the bigger projectile. What's stopping me from doing this? Will they tell me? jump scare me or something i mean i'm not i'm not surprised <laughs> just saying chat i'm like uh called it hey you there oh hey it looks like us is it us from the future <laughs> old man says ah elgus i've waited for this moment i'm not unconvinced it's not us from the future listen we're wearing the same colors he just has a beard instead of us having white hair. I'm not convinced, chat. <laughs> you know me? You could say that, yes. Oh, come on. That's definitely us for the future. Listen, chat, we've played too many games like this. Is that how it gets its old Gus? Yeah, pretty much. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah, come on. At least make him wear different color clothes. I've been following all of your exploits. Yes, he would if he was us. Uh, that is also technically a true statement. The hair just slid down, it's true. Huh? I know of your birth, of your adventures with the wielder of the crystal sword, and of your pact with the titan of death. I'm assuming this is for like a true ending, we gotta cooperate with ourselves. How could you know of that? Who are you? Damn chat, see, see this is... <laughs> I like how they're trying to build it as a mystery. We're like, yeah, it's just us from the future. <laughs> like, it's just so normal at this point on our stream. I'm like, do you know how many times we interact with our future selves or our, our half selves or our brother, whatever BS? I remember all your memories exactly. I'm like, listen, what, after Wild Arms 2, listen, <laughs> just all, all, of, all, of, all of the other selves, we're, we're aware of them. It's fine. It doesn't matter who I am. What? No, just tell him, old us. We're an idiot. Baby daughter clone, too. Can't forget that one. What matters is that you're closely tied to all of this. More than you may know. Closely tied? Please, tell me. Found <laughs> it silence. We don't have time now, but take this. It's an upgrade? He's killing himself. What the heck was that? Hmm. What is this? Is this some kind of joke? All makes sense in the future, my friend. Mm-hmm. Must take my leave. Hope we will meet again. Wait, I have many questions. Hmm, he's gone. What is this strange thing? Is it like what we call an add-on where it shoots another projectile when we attack? I suppose I should find the others. Oh. Seem to be doing so. Well, we got something.
This is the Reaper's power. I mean, I, like, listen, Chad. Like, <laughs> who are you, mysterious stranger wearing our garments? You could be anybody. <laughs> Alright, so I'm glad we went back there because we got something, question mark, from our future selves and we were cryptic for some reason. Um... I guess that's it in the middle. I think we're done. The The only thing I'm not understanding is how to get to this room and the mechanism. Hmm. Actually, I have a genuine question. Two things real quick, chat. Okay, I can't exit here. Not one of the questions I was going to ask, but I had an idea about something. When we go to save, I want to leave. Also, that little... I don't know, how would you describe this? The triangle... The triangle specifically popping out of a rectangular enclosure. I don't know what that is, or what it is supposed to be. I just think of Link to the Past when I see that. I was gonna say, like... Cause that's what you would talk to in Link to the Past for information. I don't know if it was supposed to be something other than a mysterious, weird triangle thing. Yeah, it's a very strange envelope. Pew, 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 pew. So what I want to test are two things real quick. So if we save the game, how much does it remember my health total? I will rest now, because I can. Hey, have you run into an old man hanging around in this tower? Yup, and he sits with us presently. Ha <laughs> ha! Chat. Boy, if you played this game and didn't figure that out, they are just making fun of you right now. Ha 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 ha! Arius, I'm not old. Yet! I mean a really old man. A long beard and ragged clothes. Hmm. No, I haven't seen anyone like that. Neither have I. Why do you ask? I talked to him briefly. He seemed very strong in the art of magic. <laughs> Arius is a smart one, damn. <laughs> he mentioned a few things that I find perplexing, but no matter. Mushrooms and a big steak. Not your typical camping meal, is it? That's incredible! How did you manage to make that? It smells so yummy! I really mean it this time. My mouth is watering just by looking at it. Go on, try it. Don't mind if I do. Oh, is this actually going to full heal me? That's kind of unfortunate for what I wanted to test. How is it? Heavenly. You truly outdone yourself this time, Al. Wait. Why aren't you eating it? No reason. Algus, where did you find this steak? Found it in a cave. Which cave? One with the shooting spore mushrooms. We're all bundled up in a corner. There are two big ones in front. And a bunch of small ones hiding behind them. They made a funny squeak sound when I plucked them from the ground. It's so cute. Oh no. Algus. What have you done? Alright, so unfortunately I don't think we could test what I wanted to test, but you know what we could test? Give us a second. Right, chat? Give it a second. Yeah, yeah, they go investigate, blah, blah, blah. I want to test something real quick. So I think it's before we fight the Black Knight. Let's see what happens if we just hold left. We'll give it a second. We should unlock a secret for doing this. One game, you could do it. 
No more step with me giving up. For unknown reasons, Arius abandoned his friends and decided to leave the tower. There you go, chat. I think we beat the game! Yay! After many years of sadness and regret, he passed away. Yay! Algus and Kuli tried to complete their task without Arius, but failed. Ending one. Use from the main menu. Wait, what? Oh, it said don't- Oh, it got, like, sucked there for a second. That was weird. Anyway, it said don't fall too far behind. There we go. That was a quick ending. Uh, let's look at the sound test real quick that we unlocked. Oh. The child, huh? Well, it seems we unlocked all the songs, even though we haven't seen them yet. So I think what we're going to do, chat, let's take a break here. And I guess we could continue next week with more of this. It seems like we got, like, about a little under a quarter of the way through. We saw an ending. The baby daughter clone, you're right. They did not fail, they were st stuck on an infinite loop of death, pretty much. So I think from the standpoint of the gameplay, let's let's give our thoughts. I think I'm willing to continue it. I think it was a weird decision to not make the elevator key one of the first drops of the game, like right before the boss door. Like, if it had been in, like, a box that you unseal in front of the elevator, then that way the first boss would be less annoying. I don't think the first boss is hard. As I said before, it's just kind of, like, when you're fighting it, when you're getting into, like, a platforming boss for the first time, you're just not sure, is it, like, oh, is it gonna be, like, super easy? Is it gonna be, you know, basic? Is it just gonna have a couple patterns? So they seem more involved, generally speaking. The rematch on the de on the Dark Knight kind of shows the downside of what happens when you aren't hit with annoying slow floor gimmicks and a boss that randomly teleports in the arena. Uh, that the protagonist currently, the sword user, dominates every boss fight even before you get any upgrades due to his naturally faster attack speed. And now that he has a little bit of reach and projectile reflection, like, I'm assuming it won't come up very often in boss fights, but the fact that he now has dash and reflect is just kind of insane. It's a lot to throw at you right away. Exactly. So it's like... I don't even think they necessarily have to change, like, literally anything about the boss. All they had to do is just not make the trek to the first boss annoying, and I would have had, like, a much better time. So... I could see why people would definitely like replaying the game when like you know some of the jank is there. We'll still play through it and see it on our own kind of pace, as it were. But I think from the standpoint of, you know, how would you clean up the game a little bit? Definitely the introduction of the key. I feel like should have been kind of there. It's good that they didn't make it death locked at least. And I think we can all agree, so far, it really, really needs an indicator that something is, like, once per life versus permanent. Yeah, exactly, item descriptions. Like, those are just, like, the, um, the immediate things. And it's weird, because, like, the rest of the game is actually, like, good. Like, I'm not a big fan of platformers in general, but I liked kind of opening those shortcuts up. Like, I don't need the ability to warp to, like, any room that I want. Like, I'm not asking for that from, like, a gameplay standpoint. I like having those, like, mini shortcuts unlocked mixed with, like, decent hidden items and or, like, alternate conditions to get extras. So it feels like a lot of the rooms have, like, secrets on pawn secrets on top of being, like, I guess kind of mini puzzles, which is the nature of platformers. There's, like, a certain flow to the room you have to do. You have to give and take a little in order to go through the room quickly. So I think most of the game seems good so far. 
Uh, but I am just a little concerned about just like little minor things. Like again, if the campfire had been used to be where you respawn when you die, I can tell you my enjoyment of the game would be like a thousand percent better. Like they th just that just one of those two changes alone, I would have loved it so much more. I'm just telling you. I think it's fine. I'll continue to play, but man oh man chat. If they had just treated it more like a traditional Castlevania, I would have liked it so much more. It would have been like easy, easy top five for me. Right now it's fine. So I'm kind of curious <clears throat> as we explore what we might come across. But I think from the standpoint of today's platforming session and trying out the game, I would say we'll continue. We haven't seen anything super egregious. There are some things that are in platformers that will turn me off like almost instantly. <clears throat> and that is whenever you combine something like wind physics and snow in the same level, that usually is just an instant, I'm really not interested in playing your game. Um, typically if that's also mixed with, I have to climb something, but I will fall down if I get hit and I'm very hard to defend or I could barely defend myself in it, and I will get dropped into an insta-death pit. Fortunately, this game, it drops me into damage, but it's not insta-death. I can get attacked on ladders, but it's easy to jump either on top of them, or at least jump and attack. So I think it avoids one of the big pitfalls for me, ironically, in a game about jumping over gaps and things like that, by just making sure that the punishment makes sense for it. So I don't want it to be like a constant 30, 40 death grind going through an area. It is a bit unfortunate with how the game is set up that in order to heal, you do have to die, which is kind of annoying because then you have to go through many rooms again. Like even with the warp unlocked and the elevator unlocked, like we still have to go through a lot of rooms kind of flawlessly, and then continue to go flawlessly, despite blindly playing into each room. Maybe for some people they, they really, really like that. For me, I'm like, uh... I'd prefer it to not do that. But hey, it's a difficulty, at least for now, that I can handle. So we'll go through it and uh, see how we feel across the next few weeks as we clean up the things. But hey, first ending. But for now, chat, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching and hope to see you again next time.